Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. And Andrew, I know you were out there yesterday. You caught wind gusts of over 80 miles per hour. What was it like being out there and having to kind of open the car door even just to get a closer look at things? It was a very intense scene. The weather lab was kind of rumbling at times. You could just hear the roaring of the wind constantly as you stepped outside. And just to uh, basically step around from the driver's side over to the passenger seat, I had to open the door and had to use all my power to fight the wind. So that type of wind, again, I caught a gust over 80 miles per hour. That was enough enough to cause uprooted trees there in Middlebury. It wasn't only there, the spine of the Western Green Mountains caught widespread gusts over 50. So lots of tree damage yesterday. Today we're still breezy, some gusts over 30 miles per hour at times, but no damaging wind. That potential is long gone. We're tracking the potential for a few snow squalls today, especially during the afternoon hours as well. As we look ahead to Tuesday, that's another shot for some widespread light snow. Overall, this work week is looking chilly. Feeling like winter, our highs will be in the 20s pretty much each day as we move forward here. Here's a look on Storm Tracker, an area of low pressure towards Hudson Bay. So that's cranking that lake effect snow machine in right off of Lake Ontario. There's actually some snow squall warnings into parts of Pennsylvania. Notice this big area of high pressure over the central U.S. That's bringing in some big Arctic cold out of Canada, so really chilly for the central part of the country. Here's a look though here locally on Storm Tracker. We do have some snow showers mainly out towards St. Lawrence County. Occasionally some of these are spilling into Vermont, mostly the western part of the state. You can see the snow band right now towards Watertown off to the north and east towards Governor, basically southwest of Potsdam. And then another snow band here from Santa Clara, south of Malone, over towards Moores and Alberg. Uh, even just north of St. Albans has some flakes flying and then the Middlebury area over towards Crown Point, another band of some light snow. Temperatures are in the upper 20s to low 30s, a fairly chilly start this morning and those wind gusts occasionally over 20 miles per hour. So it is a bit blustery. There may be some gusts over 30 as we move forward through the day today. So here's a look on future cast. The snow showers this morning, mainly across northern New York, occasionally getting into Vermont. But really, as we look ahead to the afternoon hours, uh, this is when there's the best potential for some more widespread, heavier snow showers, even some embedded squalls. These could uh, result in some slick travel and some briefly reduced visibility. By this evening, a lot of that is winding down, and overnight it's mostly northern New York, St. Lawrence County in particular, with some lingering lake effect snow. As we go through the Martin Luther King holiday tomorrow, we have a blend of sun and clouds out there. It should be mainly dry. And then fast forwarding into Tuesday. First thing looks okay, but as we look ahead towards late morning Tuesday and into the afternoon, some steady light snow looking possible, but this will all wrap up as we look ahead towards Tuesday night. Here's how much snow we're expecting throughout the day today through about first thing tomorrow morning. The highest totals will be in northern New York where we have some enhancement off of Lake Ontario. Four to eight inches to the south and west of Potsdam. Some spots could be up around a foot. Still a few inches though for Franklin County and into parts of Essex County. Some lighter totals here into the Champlain Valley. Still a dusting to a couple inches possible. Same thing for the Connecticut River Valley. And then along the spine of the Green Mountains could be a few inches generally a dusting to a couple inches for southern Vermont. Here's the five day forecast impact weather with a few of those snow squalls today. Tomorrow is a drier day and then that light snow potential on Tuesday. Staying chilly and drier for Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the 20s. Time now 748. Let's get another check of sports.